only of effect is alleged to have won Udua elders to stop troubling wives over pregnancy, over, you know, childbearing. Uh, you don't know that this issue of childbearing has been on and off, on and off, on and off, um, uh, with, you know, being consigned over the fact that wives are not getting pregnant. Today, this one will say they are pregnant. Tomorrow, there will be no pregnancy. Next, tomorrow, this one will say they are pregnant. And another time, there will be no pregnancy. They keep, uh, according to them, according to them, please don't come after me, according to them, from what we are hearing, they say they keep losing pregnancies, like, like you know, um, uh, this one will say today, um, to, I'm pregnant, the other one tomorrow, no pregnancy and all of that. So whatever is making them, you know, to lose their pregnancy is what we do not know. Um, uh, uh, you know, it's not something you can t talk about as a woman. You don't know where they are coming from. You don't understand their pain. You don't know it is just what it is. But right now, with all of this drama about them not getting pregnant, wives not getting pregnant, six wives, one year, no pregnancy, and all of that, the only of Ife has um, asked the elders to leave them alone and stop asking them um, about um, um, a pregnancy that, after all, uh, allegedly that he would want, he if everything was left um, to him, he would have wanted all his children to come from Queen Naomi that he has already had um, too many children outside. He would not want to keep spreading his children, that he didn't marry his wives to come and bear children for him. He married them to for company. And so nobody should bother them about bearing children for him again. They say everybody was shocked. Everywhere was quiet. Like, what the heck? is KBSC talking about? Like, you just marry the women to come and keep up. You know, people now could understand why the women are saying, you know, you, do, you don't marry us to come and make us your furniture. You, ma you should uh, marry us because you want us to have children for you and, you know, do the needful as wives to you. So right now, basically, Oni has indirectly made it clear to everybody that uh, he could care less if they have children for him or not. Um, uh, if the kids are going to come from Kwinami, that would be more better for him. That would be something he would prefer more than, you know, everybody just coming and having children for him. And they said this did not go well at all because elders and everybody, and you do know that these elders, uh, you know, a lot of them are representing, you know, um, some of these women in the palace, like elders who are from the clan or community or, you know, um, uh, lineage of uh, Ulori Ashley are there in the palace with the Onyo of Ife. And elders too who are from um, um, the lineage of Ulori um, Runke are also there in the palace with the Oni of Ife. And so when you say things like this, it borders on, you know, how much you want um, their, their daughter as a wife. And this, they said, did not go well with the elders who heard what um, Oni of Ife said. And they said that the wives too did not like this, that Oni of Ife is actually not bothered about them having children or not, because left to him, he would prefer all his children to come from Queen Army. And you do know that this is not the first time we are hearing this. Now, before we continue, please, I need to draw your attention to the fact that every gist you hear from this channel is alleged. I do not live with these people in the palace of the Oni of Ife. I um, am not related to them. These are all alleged news. And so no matter what happens, you need to bear in mind that these are all alleged information. So right now they say everybody is just so, so, so upset over this um, uh, revelation that came from the Oni of Ife. Apparently, maybe Oni wanted to say it or not, but of course he, um, he finally said it. And they were very unhappy about the fact that uh, he said this very openly that he could really care less whether the um, uh, women give birth to children or not, that he didn't marry them to come and give birth to children for him. This is not the first time he's saying this. They said he has said this before. And um, right now, uh, people are saying, so if you didn't marry them to come and give birth to you for children for you, why did you even, even bring them to the palace of the Oni of Ife? So right now, 
The truth remains that Oniovife wants all his children to come from Queen Naomi because of the love that he shares with Queen Naomi. If not for the way things went with all of these women, Oni probably wouldn't have, you know, um, become a polygamy. Yes, so we do know that he likes, you know, we do, we do know like, that like he likes our gender, the female, which is, you know, typical with a lot of men, okay? But the truth remains that his status in the society happens to be uh, one thing that is um, bringing all of these women to him. They want to eat from the royal bread. They are ready to do everything, to scatter everything, to ensure that they are there. But unfortunately, this time, things are not really working out for these women, as in working on the, as expected for these women. Because yes, so it could have been better and different for them if only, you know, had um, married them out of love. The truth remains that the certification, the uh, qualification, university, this university, that seem not to bring to be bringing any satisfaction to the owner of Ife, who is, you know, going um, back to Queen Naomi over and over, wanting Queen Naomi, wanting to be there for Queen Naomi, wanting Queen Naomi to be there for him and all of that. But right now, um, Oni loves um, Queen Naomi so much that he wants all his children to come from Queen Naomi. And unfortunately, he is not hiding it. He's making it clear to everybody that, look, oh, this is exactly what I want. I want all my kids to come from Queen Naomi. I could care less what happens to any other person. And, you know, um, um, if they get pregnant, fine if they don't. I now see why the wives were so, so angry at some point where they said perhaps Oni knows exactly exactly why they are not getting pregnant. And right now, a lot of people are beginning to think that Oni is aware of the reason why they are not getting pregnant. Perhaps he is doing it deliberately to ensure that they do not get pregnant. But don't quote me. It's alleged, 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 oh, alleged. So it does seem as if Oni of Ife is doing this deliberately and making sure that these women are not getting pregnant because he doesn't want children from all of these women. Because what will it really look like? That you have six women in the palace, so and you have um, Tadenika from another woman, you have Diola from another woman, you have um, the twins from another woman, and you have Ademiwa from another woman. Now, it would be like Oni of Ife has got children from 10 different women. Oh, Oh, that is going to be, you know, legendary, honestly. And maybe Oni doesn't want that. And maybe that is why the women are not getting pregnant. He is Oni Risha. I'm sure he knows exactly what to do to ensure that they are not getting pregnant. But the women claim that they are getting pregnant allegedly and that they have been losing pregnancy. We haven't seen Toby up till now. Some people say she's pregnant and some say she is not. So over time, we will know if she's pregnant or not. Wanted to bring you this update. I'm going to bring you more. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.